two companies. They both make the same basic product, but they're very different types of company. One is a huge mass production operation, making your bog standard potato crisps. The other produces hand cooked select chips. But both are after the money in your pocket. Both are responding to a fast changing market. The headlines about health and the environment. And success for both of them depends on how their crisps are made. On what happens inside the factory. Crisps, the number one junk food. Eight and a half thousand million packets of crisps are sold every year in the UK alone. Two million tons of spuds get the chop just to make them. Your average person eats 150 packets a year. And the business in Britain is dominated by one famous name. Owned by PepsiCo, the world's biggest snack food company. Walker's dwarfs its crisp making rivals. It has 50% of a market worth 2 billion a year. The secret of their success? Well, a big part of it is continuously making lots of the same product at a low cost. The fryers at Walker's can fry up to 2,000 kilos of crisps an hour. Walker's keep whizzing them out and we keep eating them. But for how much longer? In recent years, sales of Walker's crisps have been falling. Thank you. And the back one's local Ludlow sausage. Ludlow sausage. Changing customer tastes and new crisp makers are changing the face of the market. Well, those ones are nice. Ooh. Is that nice? Mmm. Flavoursome. The brightest new star is called Tyrrells, and they look about as different from Walkers as you could possibly imagine. Good afternoon, Tyrrells, Karen speaking. For Tuesday, 15 cases of cheese, yes, and 15 cases of lightly salted. Yes, of course I can, I guarantee that for Tuesday. Set up in 2002, Tyrrells has had a meteoric rise to commercial fame. Its sales grew by more than 80% in its second year in existence. And they're now running at 6 million. But how? And why? It all started here, in Herefordshire, where a farmer called William Chase once made his living selling potatoes to the big supermarkets. We had a great business growing and producing potatoes for supermarkets when they wanted it, but it's just a commodity. We didn't have a brand, we had no market power at all. We were just producing a very, very basic commodity. So as that commodity gets oversupplied, naturally you get squashed and supermarkets want to sell stuff cheaper and cheaper. The buck stops and it stops for the producer. So being the producer, being very well set into potatoes, it was very hard work for us to compete with that. So Will started thinking. Was there something else he could do with their potatoes? We looked at different products we could make out of potatoes, from starch to smash to all sorts of things. And then one day we came up with the idea to potato chips, we could make a better product than what was on the market four years ago. Will borrowed some money from his bank, built a crisp factory on his farm, and Tyrrells was born. Tyrrells don't just turn spuds into crisps. They use parsnips. Carrots too. Even, yeah, that's right, beetroot crisps. But what's the secret? What does it take to make a bag of crisps? 